stand in the place where you were. Do you know when you wear sunglasses for a while and then you take them off and you have like two red spots where the sunglasses rested upon your nose? Is there a name for that? Like, does that, like, red divot on your nose have a name? Because we've named, like, everything else in the world. It should be called, like, a, a glimpton. Anyway, uh, I'm a little, a little here tonight, a little bit late, but I'm here. I'm still using a controller that is not functioning properly because it is it is now crust. It is a crust troller. Um, I ordered another one. Like, the B button gets stuck on this one. What can you do? But anyway, welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. After this, hopefully PSN will be up and I can play some dreams. Um, here's some good music. I don't like the eyes that that Moogle's giving me right now. I don't- I don't like it. Last time in the story, we were about to go to Black Mage Village. Because... Kuja is recruiting a bunch of Black Mages. And basically just being a- an unpleasant... Jerk... Lord. Edge. So there's not really a lot we can do right now. Uh, you know, we don't know where to go. We don't know where they came from. And we're trying to figure all that out. And the only clue we have is Black Mage Village. So anyway, uh, I'm also, for those that missed it, I shouldn't even be here right now in the story. This is just kind of something you can do. You can laugh, you can cry. You... <laughs> You can come here early to get some items, but there's not really a whole lot else. Vinny, I watched the terror after you were talking about it in a VOD, and it was great. I'm glad you liked it, my glip blop. I also, um, I watched The Boys last night. And, uh, it's great, isn't it? I watched, well, just the first episode. <laughs> the, the lads. Yeah, that's a good... Carl Urban is fucking great in it. He's legitimately fantastic in it, but the writing is good, it's funny, it's it's irreverent. In a way that... It's like... Yeah. Yeah, superhero stuff. I do like some superhero stuff. Like, I don't hate it, I'm not, you know, upset because it's the biggest thing ever. I see the movies from time to time. Uh, but this movie, this show just is perfect for right now. It takes the piss out of it. It's great. So yeah, I'd recommend... Um, so far, I'm enjoying this TV show, The Boys. If anyone hasn't seen it yet, it's something to... It's something to check out, maybe. Ah. I'm only one episode in. Vinny, did you watch Black Mirror? Yeah, I've seen. Uh, this past season was mostly lukewarm for me. Theater ship card? Oh, okay, it's just a card. Mm -mm -mm. Vinny, what was your reaction to when that poor girl got absolutely destroyed in The Boys? Well, it's not a spoiler, but early on, the equivalent of the Flash in that universe speeds into another human being by accident and fucking obliterates them. And that's, like, how the plot gets started. Like, picture you're going a million miles an hour and you just, like... Yeah, you just fucking, like, explode another person and then you find out that the superheroes are real shady and, um, the, the person whose f girlfriend got obliterated with the help of Carl Urban, who plays an amazing character, um, they they get revenge, and it's it's just a fucking great show. God, I 
Thanks for the recommendation, chat. Vinny, you can um, find the second Chocobo place called Chocobo Lagoon right now with the ship. Where's that? Have you tried Daredevil on Netflix? Nah. Like I said, I'm not that big of a superhero fan. The reason I like I, I like the stuff, but the reason I like this one is because it's so it's such a piss take of all of it. You know, like it, it's it makes fun of it as well as does a good job with it, and um, it's something different. It's something new for me. And Garth Ennis, you know, wrote the source material. Garth Ennis is one of the best comic book authors. Uh, so yeah, there's not a lot of, like, I haven't watched any superhero TV show. I'm not gonna lie, I'll tell you straight up, I'm gonna watch that. If I get Disney Plus or not, which I'd prefer not to, I would like to check out that Loki show. Probably won't get Disney Plus, but I still would like to check out the Loki show. I do. I want to see that. Uh, I also I want to see the the Winter Soldier show too. Vinny Soundgarden or Audio Slave Soundgarden. And I also want to see the Mandalorian Star Wars show. I do. I, I have a feeling it's going to be it's going to be good. And I'm kind of like. You know, sick of Star Wars a bit. I still like it, but I'm, I'm not like um, lining up and you know in the theaters to go see it. Like I'll see it if I have a ticket. If my friend gets me a ticket, great. Sounds cool. I want to see it just to see if it's any good. Um, Han Solo movie was surprisingly good, but I mean, my my interest in Star Wars was a lot higher when I was younger, and now it's just kind of there. It's like, oh, right, yeah, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. The show, The Mandalorian, has got Pedro Pascal. It's got Jon Favreau directing, which means nothing because he directed the Lion King movie. I don't know why they hired someone like Jon Favreau, who's a very good director, to, uh, direct that Lion King movie when it was just, like, directed by a computer. Um, but no, I think the, the Mandalorian could be cool, and those other shows, I might check them out. I do like the characters. A lot of those Marvel characters, the thing I like about them is their interactions with the other Marvel characters. So, I'm a little bit, like, I'm wondering, what's it gonna be like? You know, what's it gonna be like when it's just two characters? I don't think this is the right spot. And that computer's name, John Favreau. Oh shit. Wait, why is why do I have maximum damage? I don't want that. How do I get rid of that? Weird. So weird. Yo. Yo, we running. Run. Flee! Dead rats, dead cats. Get the fuck out of here! I know it's loud. I do have the limiter on. But if I set it too strict... It starts to, like, limit... Like, it starts limiting the music. And it gets real crusty. 
Okay, so this is not... This is not where we have to be right now, I don't think. Bird's Eye Lagoon. It's a beach on a small island. Norway Lagoon. Um, abandoned beach. Is there- there's another Chocobo Forest I can access now, or no? It's a cave on one of the islands? Okay. Okay. Queen of want catch frog. See... There, I saw a video in my recommendeds about how The Office, it was like a 40 minute video about how The Office ended up becoming like a cartoon version of itself. And Kevin is the perfect example. Like, the character is like a poker champion. And he's really, really smart in some things. Like, he got flanderized. He got Ned flanderized easily. But. By the time you reach the end of the Office TV show, Kevin is just, I'm an idiot! I can't spell A D C B L O M N O T. And all the smart stuff that they had him do at times, like any of that stuff was just totally, you know, gone. Oakley Dokley, neighbor! Hey Zidane, I want catch frog. What's it called? I don't remember the name of the video. I think I have to have... Vinny, am I weird for not liking The Office? No. I didn't watch it for fucking 10, 15 years. You don't have you know, you might not like it. That's all right. I liked a lot of it. I, I enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed a lot of the seasons when I watched it, and um, I think it's it's actually genuinely really fun. It made me laugh out loud at night while I was tired after streaming, and that did not happen often. Only a couple shows have done that for me. So, but you know, that's Steve Carell. Yeah, I d I bwl'd. I'm you know. Okay, what do you want me to say? I bwl'd. I can't change the char- I have to change the characters on the ship, right? Uh. But Vinny, the office makes up 90% of my personality. Funny you should say that, because that's real. But you knew that was. You knew it was real. But yeah, it's a good show. I'm glad I watched it. Because it, it brought me a lot of laughs and entertainment. Um, but that video... The video is very good. Fuck out of here, guys. These dragons are really, really anno annoying. Vinny, and now it's being taken off Netflix. Poor Vivi. What do you think is going to happen to Netflix when it's taken off? People have speculated thus far that Netflix is doomed. Because it's it's a $10 a month or $12 a month office watching platform. F 
Friends is being taken off too, like all the big shows. So here's what's going to happen. Netflix is going to take a hit. This is my prediction. I could be wrong. Netflix is going to take a hit when Friends and The Office are removed from it. And I think Star Trek is probably going to get removed from it too because CBS wants to um, have everyone buy their fucking horrendous service. And there's going to end up being 40 different services that you can watch the TV shows you like on. People are going to start pirating a lot more. Again. Um, and then business is going to go down, and people aren't going to spend all that money just to watch Seinfeld for the 4,000th time. And uh, then it's all going to go back to Netflix. And then there will be a second Netflix renaissance. And then they will have enough money to make Stranger Things 5. Even weirder. Disney Plus is also going to hurt it. Yeah, but Disney Plus, I think, is focusing on original. Hang on a minute. So there's a male there. That's a female. And what's this one? This is a female, so I have to leave the uh, one. Imagine being a frog and seeing this thing. With the big tongue. Just running at you full speed in an attempt to eat you. To destroy you. So anyway, Vine Sauce Plus will be available soon. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take all of the Full Sauce channel and pay gate it. And live, you can spend extra money to, um, insult me. So there will be a filter that cuts out the insults. But if you spend that extra couple bucks on Vine Sauce Plus, you can get the insults in. Or you could just pirate Vine Sauce. What about subs who pay? That's cool and all, but have you heard of Vine Sauce Plus? Vinny, you made me think about how Queen's tongue is hanging out literally all the time. It's like, um, did you ever have or see a dog that's tongue is always out because they have, like, no tongue control? Think about the fucking drool underneath Queena at all times. Queena! Go south on the chocobo to find the cave. Go south here? Greninja. Who mains Greninja? I tried. It's the island just east of where you are, okay. I gave Greninja a shot. I gave Greninja a legitimate chance. In Smash 4. I was just happy we were getting a new character of any kind, and didn't I, I did not uh, mesh well with Greninja. It's always fun when a new Smash comes out, and you play against people that you know. And they only know a couple characters, and they don't know- maybe they don't own the game. 
and then you play as one of the new characters, and they don't know how to fight the new character. That was good for a while with Greninja and Bowser Jr. I was able to use those characters and really piss off my friends. Those were good times. I remember that. For a little while there, they just couldn't defeat the characters because they didn't know their moves. And then they, they caught on to my scummy tricks. You never invite them over anymore. That's that's correct. I don't. It's a beach on a small island. Great place to vacation. Koopo. Bird's eye. Or -or. I don't know, man. I thought there was supposed to be a chocobo forest around here. Oh, there is. That's what that is. The gapening over here. It's Chocobo Lagoon. Mean? What are you doing here, or Mene? I did some research and wound up here, Kupo. There's holy light similar to that of the forest. I know we can find chocographs here, Kupo. Or, let's dig around some more, Kupo. It's tougher to dig in the bottom of the lagoon than it is in the forest. We can only dig in the shallow parts. Choco doesn't like to go deep in water. So the area is limited, Kupo. Okay, so I'll make it half time, half price. What do you mean, half-time? Because, you know... We don't play those games. Quick, 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 I was gonna quiz you all today. Someone was very kind to make a quiz, but that's not happening today. Sorry! Good, you didn't study? Alright, cool. Uh, the quiz will be another time. I have a question, chat. For anyone that plays Dragon Quest Builders 2, is there a tool that allows you to place a fuckload of blocks all at the same time, later on in the game. Vinny, that's Minecraft. Oh. No, because I have- there's one tool, the- the thing. What is it called? The thing, with the, the flat thing. The trowel. That, you can place a bunch of blocks. But, I want one that places even more, because you can destroy blocks very quickly, but you cannot create them as quickly. If you made a blueprint, then yes. No, 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 I'm talking about, like, to fill in, like, a big patch of, of nothing. With, like, a cube. Getting them chocographs. The trowel is the best, but you do get Silk Touch-style hammer to get anything you want without breaking it. Cool, okay. Well, that's not what I need, but at least I know that there's no better tool than the trowel. That'll be good DLC. There's a trailer released for uh, Dragon Quest XI today. I don't know what's happening to me, chat. I think I'm becoming a Dragon Quest fan, um, because I watched that trailer. It just showed off the world a bit. 
and I was getting very excited. This is the first time I've been excited about a JRPG in years. And it's cool, too, because it's like, it's Akira Toriyama's art style, and it reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people, once I get into the series, that are going to say, you should go back and play this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. It's a big series. So I'll probably just start with 11, and maybe just see where that takes me, if anywhere. There's a demo coming for, uh, for Dragon Quest XI to the Switch. Are you planning on streaming it? I don't know if I'm going to stream it, but I think um, the demo retains your save stuff like the Dragon Quest Builders 2 demo does. So you can play it, and then you can import some stuff over to the game. I don't know if it saves progress or just items, but... Pretty cool. Vinny, you gotta play 8. Is that the one with the fake Surge? with the bandana who's in Smash. Yeah. Yeah, that was the one that I... That was the one I almost got. I almost broke for that one. When it came out years ago. He's got the mouse in his pocket, right? I might have gotten all the choker graphs here. I'm not sure. We'll try a couple more times. It's a hamster? Oh. Excuse me! Something in my pocket for you. Mene will tell you if you got all of them. Take a look at this chocograph. Did I get all? I can't tell if I got all of them. No, you haven't? Okay. We're getting close to the wing edge, which I don't want. Robe of Lords could be cool, but we're probably not going to get that. Unless I spent, like, way too much time off-stream doing the thing. How good is the Robe of Lords? Is it really the best armor in the game? Took about 90 minutes with fast mode to get robe and ring. So that means without ring, you could get the robe for maybe like 55 minutes. I mean, I'd like to make story progress during the stream, but right now all I really need to do is just get the last chocograph here, and then we can go chocograph hunting another night, because it's, it's time-consuming, and I started a little late tonight, so it would be nice if we got some story. Damn, this chocograph is not revealing itself. You still have another area to get choker graphs? Yep. Yeah, this isn't the only one. I'm not the only one. I am still listening to that podcast, yep. Yes, I am. Vinny, how do you start late with no schedule? The schedule thing has become a bit of a contradiction, hasn't it? Got it. 
Well, really what I just like to do is reserve four hours for video games. Which is, you know, sometimes difficult. So I try to do four hours, and if I start a little earlier, I don't want to go past 4 a.m. So... That's as much schedule as I've got, I'd say. There's no more chocographs here. Cool. Vinny, did you know that Hobart was confirmed for KFAD? Yo, yeah, Hobart? Absolutely. Fucking hell, man. I'm glad. It's been too long, and Hobart has been, you know, a fan favorite for so many years, and yet, you know, we just never see Hobart anymore. It's crazy. I was really hoping one day we would see Hobart and pop and pop and... I don't know what he's talking about either. Maynard's dick? No, we're not talking about Maynard's dick today. Under the circumstances, normally we would be talking about Maynard's dick, but not today. Did you know that they had to censor that song? for it to get any airplay. They called it Maynard's Dead. I don't think it was- it was a B-side, so I'm not entirely sure if it ever got, like, legit airplay, but they... This isn't the area. Um, but yeah, they- they called it... Maynard's Dead. Um, which brings me back to the song I was- I was singing a moment ago, which is a Nirvana song... Um, that they had to censor to waif me. W-A-I-F. Otherwise, they couldn't sell it at Walmart and Kmart. They wouldn't carry the record in utero. You can go, um, look at that- look that up yourself. If you got a copy of In Utero that says Waif Me, instead of the original song title, you know what it is, then, uh, you can- you can sell that shit for some money. Yep, yeah, my wife. That's right. Yeah, he agreed to it. Kurt agreed to it. Because, <laughs> according to this podcast, and they were joking around when they said it, it was like... Because they take the piss out of him pretty bad. Um, it deserved, though. I mean, this is the only place where kids are actually buying music. Walmart and Kmart. So, we gotta put it out over there, otherwise they're not gonna buy our record. What's the podcast called again? It's called, uh, Heart Shaped Pod, and it is fucking hilarious. Even if you don't like Nirvana, learning about the history of this band makes no sense whatsoever. God damn it, wrong button again. It's really, really stupid. But, uh, but... Wait, I'm not on a chocobo. Why am I trying to open a chocograph? No wonder! Vinny, I don't have time to listen to Vervana lore. Yeah, that Vervana. It's probably not worth it. There's a spoiler right there. Again, he had issues, but he was a good dude at times. But, you know... It's, uh, I'm almost done with the podcast, too. I just have a couple, couple episodes left. I'm up to the in utero stuff, and then it's, um, a couple s scattered episodes about, you know, the conspiracy of El Duce. There's a documentary called Soaked in Bleach, if you want to learn all about this massive conspiracy. You could just Google it. It's not hard to find. Um, there's a conspiracy that Courtney Love is actually a CIA agent sent to upstart new music scenes to disrupt them so that people don't get too happy and into it. There's a real conspiracy theory about Courtney Love being a CIA operative. 
I mean, I mean, it's it's ridiculous, but I love that one. It's so stupid. There's also like there's a conspiracy theory for everything is what you have to also learn. I'm not saying that the word conspiracy invalidates some stuff because I believe in them aliens. And um, like I said, I want to see one get like fucking proper plowed. But um, where am I going? I have to go to the Black Mage Village. But that said, that said, uh, you know, there, there is a conspiracy for every single thing ever, forever. Amen. Fuck is this thing? Chat, I found something very odd. Does this is this real? Does this happen later? This rock? Does anything happen here? It happens later. I don't remember that. Vinny, you are weird. What? I'm weird because of the conspiracy theory stuff, or I want to see an alien get plowed hardcore? Oh, I'm on the wrong continent, like, entirely. No wonder I can't find Black Mage Village. It's the final frontier, is all I'm trying to say. Nice, relaxing Final Fantasy IX game, stream, music, and now Alien Sex. Any dead meme, but would it be worth sneaking into Area 51 to see a CIA agent drop kick off inside an alien? What? Alright, that's weird even for me. So weird! It's, uh, the life cycle of memes is really something. We've talked about this on stream plenty of times. Doesn't need to be reiterated, but the fact that Area 51, which was introduced like a month ago or less, is now categorically considered a dead meme is just fucking bizarre to me. You know, you go back 10-15 years and the memes would last for years sometimes. But I guess it's also meme quality. You know, it depends on the quality of the meme. Some memes will continue to last that long if, if they're good. But most of them just die within a week. Three weeks. Oh fuck, the Quizmeister. Pop quiz! Question number one! I Wanna Be Your Canary was written by Lord Aphon. What was false? The X, right? It's X because it's it's false. Even though it said false at the bottom there, I still had to ask. It's Lord Avon. Vinny, you said no quiz today. I lied. Remember when I said I'd kill you last? I lied. Someone in chat just said, Feral Hog. Now there you go, now that's a new meme. Oh wait, no, no, uh, it, it was new up until I said it was a new meme and then it died. Looks like nobody's here. Where did they go? Ah, I'm gonna go look around. Hmm. 
Lappen. Level 5 death can be used to insta-kill green dragons? No shit. Mogrio. Door to the chocobo. Nobody here either. All right, chat, you could hang out with one Final Fantasy IX character for an evening. Just one. Any character in the game, who do you choose? Not just the playable cast. I see a lot of VVs. Freya Lennyface. I'll be taking note of your username. Um, Zidane. Vine Man Make Meme. That's not an answer to the question. Beatrix. Pickle Lady. Oron, incorrect game, but thanks. Garnet, Country Girl. Oh yeah, I remember Country Girl. Cloud, Queena. A lot of Queenas, oddly enough. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people saying they want to hang out with Queena. Why? Why? Would do you want Queena to cook for you? Steiner. Well, I think Vivi's a good answer. Vivi's my favorite character, so that's a good answer just based on that, but... I think who would be the most fun to hang out with? And I would say Amaranth. Ugh. God, someone said you can go behind the counter. Uh, Zidane seems like he would be kind of fun to hang out with. He's a very upbeat dude. Uh, Bron? Oh, okay. Sexy Clown Cinna. Nope, I don't believe that's the right answer to this question. I'm just going in circles now. Stiltskin. Hey, that's a good answer. Where is everybody? They went away with Kuja. Two other guys stayed behind. They're probably at the Chocobo Shack. Why? Why did they go with him? They learned about our lifespan. We can only live for a given amount of time. Kuja said he knew how to extend our lifespan, so everybody followed him. He's lying. I bet he's lying. Look what he's done to us. He's been using us, treating us like puppets. Maybe we are just puppets, created to serve humans. Come on, that's nonsense. Where did they go? I can't tell you that. I can't betray them. Then why didn't you go with them? You said the two other guys are in the Chocobo Shack, right? Vivi. Hey, you want to play cards? Squall, I'm dying. Whatever, that's cool and all, but hey, do you want to play cards, Renoa? Even though apparently her name is Renoa, I've been corrected. I had people tell me, um, when I streamed Final Fantasy eight years ago that her name is pronounced Renoa. But that's wrong, though. I thought it was wrong, too. Hello? Is anyone in there? Vivi. Please, open the door. That's the single most repeated line in the game. Vivi dot dot dot. Ah! 
It's born. It's alive. Oh. Wait. Finally. Finally. Hooray. Hooray. I still can't believe it. Yeah. I don't understand. Why are you here? We're here to look after the Chocobo. At first, we were going to go with everyone, but someone had to stay behind and look after the Chocobo egg, so we stayed. We kept this egg nice and warm by putting lots of hay over it. I can't wait to show them to everyone. They're going to be so happy. We have to come up with a name. Hey, what's happening to me? I, I feel strange. M me too. You stayed behind because you were worried about the chocobo egg. I don't know. I wanted to follow Kuja because I was so scared of dying. But I couldn't. I felt like I was leaving something important behind. I want to ask you something. What is it? A am I going to stop pretty soon too? I don't know. Who just said the prototype built before us would last longer? But... I am gonna stop eventually. I was really confused when my grandpa died. He told me, Vivi, no need be sad. So I told myself, I, I can't be sad. That's why I felt confused again when I heard that everyone was stopping around here. I didn't know what to do or what to feel. But when I saw Garnet crying when her mom died, I, I wasn't confused anymore. I was sad. If I were just a puppet, I never would have felt that way. Mr. 288, we aren't puppets. I know we aren't. I hate him. I hate Kuja. He's turning everyone into puppets just to kill people. If it weren't for him, I know everyone would understand someday. It's not fair. Vivi dot dot dot. <laughs> Kuja's secret palace is on the eastern side of this continent. It's buried under quicksand. You'll need a ship to get there. Thanks. I hope we can become strong like you someday. Wow. Vivi has, um, hit a character arc moment here. Not only accepted by his peers, but looked up to by his peers, and they call him strong. Vivi has so much on his mind. Unlike me, he's fighting so hard. Not to spell it out for you, but... I thought I would change after I met Zidane. Once I acceded to the throne, I knew I had to change. But nothing has changed. I'm so helpless. Wow! Garnet, were you listening too? That crybaby sure has come a long way, don't you think? Garnet? Are you alright? Don't worry too much. Vivi has his own way of dealing with things, and you have yours. Come on, cheer up, we'll beat Kuja, and you'll get your voice back in no time. Zidane. Uh, something wrong? Okay, let's get going. Mr. 288 said that Kuja's palace is buried under quicksand, right? Yeah. We're taking the ship to the eastern side of the continent to get there.
Just hang on a second. So weird! Someone said, I didn't appreciate Aiko enough as a kid. Aiko is funnier, is a funnier character than we've ever had. It's funny because Aiko works better as comic relief than Queena, in my unprofessional papinyat. Someone in chat said, wrong. Another person said, correct. That is the nature of Papinyat, isn't it? Also, someone said, did you go check on the Chocobo? Fuck, I haven't. <laughs> Amaranth is unintentionally hilarious because of how, like, edgy they tried to write him. Look at- look at him. He's so cute. He actually is adorable. Yes, I agree about that. I mean, it's really telling that the ports of this game had a fast-forward built in. As much as I like a lot of these JRPGs that I consider to be some of my favorite games of all time... Gee whiz. Isn't it nice to have that fast-forward? Just for a couple times. You don't need it for every, every battle. You don't need it all the time. Maybe some people do, if they just want to experience the story. Again, that's why I like Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross. Being able to see the enemies on the, uh, on the field is quite nice. Cross has a genuinely good battle system. Yeah, I agree. I think Chrono Cross's battle system is underrated. And... It's a lot of fun. It's a really, really well done battle system that's both familiar and unique. And utterly confusing for newcomers. I was about to say newcomers. There's a chocograph here. I just need to find Dem Footprints. Vinny, thoughts on the Mother 3 battle system? I thought Mother 3 had a great battle system. Did you see that feral hog spinning? Or rather, revolving in a very pleasing manner? Now we leave. Uh oh, me dead, Zidane.
Oh man, my new controller can't arrive soon enough, holy fuck. I have to, like, clack the buttons down at full force to get them to not stick. I don't even know why, too. It just started happening with, like, within the past, like, week and a half. It was, it was good. I'm just gonna do a no-encounter thing here for a moment, while I look for a chocobo. Which may, in fact, not be on this continent. that shit up. I have no problem using fast forward and stuff like that for optional uh, chocobo stuff. I am totally okay with that. There's a thing over here, right? There's a crack in the wall over there. Did you see that? I think I know what that is. Nothing I can do yet. Don't mind me, just looking for chocobo footprints. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 god. This is where I have to go. Next. Is there really no chocobo? Alright then. Well, no, we're not getting that choke graph anytime soon. More hogs. Oh, right, I was using Freya, not Queena. This team is kind of butt when it comes to healing, though. The, uh, Freya-Steiner-VV combo. So I have to be very careful about that. Freya at least has a, a decent... A, de a decent enough heal, but... It's not... well, it's not that great either. put Amaranth on the team? No! No, I'm good. Put Echo on the team? Well, Echo's a very good healer. Vinny, while it would be a diversion, you can go back to Traino. There's an item there that makes stealing even easier. Interesting. We can do that a little later. Yo, what the fuck? Is this a carrion worm? Is that the name of this thing? Landworm. Can... Uh... Okay.
Yeah, it's, it's Dune and Beetlejuice. Did you ever watch the David Lynch Dune? No. I've never read Dune. I have never seen Dune. I'm definitely interested in Denis Villeneuve's Dune. And one day I'd like to watch the David Lynch Dune because Patrick Stewart is in it and Sting is in it. S uh, sorry, Sting on cocaine is in it. Not the wrestler. The guy who plays the, um... What the fuck is that weird instrument that he plays sometimes? It's, it's like a kazuki? Could you imagine going from a band like The Police? to doing your own solo career, and then just making, like, medieval, like, Gatsuki music. I mean, he did it. Speaking of cocaine, I've been listening to Station to Station and Hunky Dory. Thank you for introducing me to David Bowie all those years ago. I'm not sure how much cocaine went into Hunky Dory, but Station to Station was an album birthed by cocaine. To the point where he doesn't remember any of the recording of that album. I think I just let Freya die by accident. Counter horn. Okay, that was uh, that was a tough one. Vinny, did you... you should watch the documentary about Dune by Alejandro Jodorowsky. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but... Yeah, I did. It's called Jodorowsky's Dune. It's really good. I'd recommend it to anybody... ...that is interested in filmmaking and or Dune and or Jodorowsky. David Lynch eventually got to do it, but it was supposed to be his movie first, and he did, um... He's the dude that directed the Holy Mountain with the Ocelot tits. So it was gonna be fucking weird. Got uh, another Jape here. Damn it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't have a lot of potions left. I should have fucking purchased some. Ah! Trouble mucus. Ah. Miss? Oh, right, because the. Yeah, that makes sense. So I've never seen this before, but apparently this happens. When everybody's low on HP, Steiner just makes them charge and attack. do with potions now. My dudes is almost dead. I don't know what to do. God damn it. Call a Moogle. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot that I could use a tent. So weird. Use a tent right after this. At least I know I'm not gonna die with Sandstorm. Miss. That, that's some real scrotum! quicksand area left. This has to be it. This is it. I knew you'd come. Everything is going according to plan. <laughs> Sedane. Ribbit! Wake up! Ah. Sid. Where the heck are we? Was there a budget cut? Good question. Ribbit! I wish I knew. After I fell into the quicksand, everything went dark. That's all I can remember. Uh, me too, Ribbit. When I woke up, Ribbit, I was in this room! Oh yeah, where is everyone? 
I don't know, Ribbit. I hope they're all right. So you're finally awake. That voice. It's a Nord. It's Kuja. I'm so happy to see you again. You rat bastard. Where are my friends? <clears throat> you mean your rat bastard friend, Freya? My, my, aren't we feisty today. Uh, no need to worry about them. They're in rooms not unlike yours. Oh, yes. By the way, I should probably enlighten you as to your current situation. Thanks. I'm sure that even your feeble mind can grasp what would happen if you were to take that plunge. Ha 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 ha. Kuja, you're dead! Oh dear. Was it something I said? Either way, now that you're aware of your predicament, I'd like you to do a tiny little favor for me. I'll let your friends live if you say yes. Never! You still don't get it, do you? Do you still refuse? Damn it, I don't have a choice. Very good. You've chosen wisely. First, step outside. Hey, Sid, I need you to look after the others. Fine, Ribbit. I won't let you down. And you, Ribbit, you come back safe. Yeah, I will. See ya. Oh, I hate the frog minigame so much. Oh, not these guys again. Stand between the two black mages. Those are like the same guys that were in Black Mage Village just hanging out. Welcome to my humble abode. Just cut to the chase and tell me what the hell you want. My, we're upset, aren't we? Well, this is your errand. I want you to go somewhere and bring something back for me. So tell me what it is already, you demon. I'd watch my mouth if I were you. Surely you haven't forgotten that I hold your friends' lives in my hands. Uh, I'm going to send you to a place called Oilvert. Oilvert. Where's that? Oilvert is south of the Seaways Canyon on the Forgotten Continent. It really isn't my kind of place. What do you mean by that? You see, there's an anti-magic barrier around the place. And I want to send you because you're too stupid to use magic. Once there, I want you to retrieve the Gulak Stone for me. What do you say? Isn't it a simple task? I'll even send you on my luxury Q cruise yacht. So you won't have to worry about transportation. Perhaps it's too much for you. I'd better send you with three of your friends just to be safe. Besides, nobody likes to fight against himself. <laughs> Never mind. Speak their names when you've chosen your partners. So, no magic, which means... VV for extra dialogue? Do you really get... Steiner, Quina, and Amaranth. Fine. I shall summon them. Freya can still use her stuff. It's not magic. Ah, fuck. Can I change? Is it too late?
if you reset. How do you reset? What's what's the oh fuck, I just activated cheats. Freya is still fine. Que uh, Queena is still fine. Freya will be useful with the other party. Queena for good eats. All right, and Amaranth. Screw it. Let's do it. Proceed to the center of the platform. They were like, well, we need to utilize all the party members. How are we going to do that? Split them up. Spare me the emotional reunion scene, please. Now go stand with your friends. You'd better keep your promise, Kuja. Of course, you needn't worry one bit. <laughs> what a bunch of idiots. Kuja is... Oh, I don't... <laughs> They could have done so much more with him. Whoa. That must be the Hildegard one. Like, Sephiroth was a good villain just because of the history and the flashback stuff, but you don't really get a lot of Sephiroth until later on, aside from the flashbacks. But the flashbacks were really effective. Um, Cypher in Final Fantasy VIII worked really well because you get to know the character throughout the course of the game. Even though he's not the main villain, he's kind of like the, you know, the muscle. Yeah, there's a tragedy to that character, and I, I really like Cypher as a character, weirdly enough. <laughs> oh my god, what have you done to Steiner? I know can eat. Why, why did people tell me I could eat? There was no eat. Chat. Why can't I use Queen's abilities here? I should be able to. This would have been helpful. Amaranth is also ill-equipped. Um... Yep, a little bit.
Thoughts on Seymour as the villain in Final Fantasy X? I don't remember. I simply do not remember. I would love to remember, but it's... That game is very, very foggy. In my memory banks. I remember a giant, like, thing with Mother Mary on its chain. Something like that. That was anima. I remember that fight. I remember there was a lot of cool shit in Final Fantasy X that I really enjoyed, and then there was some stuff that just, it just is gone. I was told not to go any farther. You wanna play cards? Maybe the memory of Seymour. I, someone saying he had wild hair. This is like in uh, the Plinket review of episode one, when they're like, describe a character without saying their name or what they, you know, what they do or what they look like. It's just kind of normal. He's stoic. In this case, with Seymour, it's like, hair. So what do you say? Well, like Han Solo, for example, they say, uh, is the thief with the heart of gold. So, never mind what you- what they do, it's more their name or what they look like. So, yeah, for Han Solo, it's the thief with the heart of gold. He's rogue. Smug- he doesn't- you can't say that. He's roguish. That kind of thing. And then you get to Qui-Gon Jinn, and they're just like, uh, um, he's got a beard. Smarmy. Yep, beard. <laughs> he's stoic. Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey, can we really trust Kuja? Hey, say something! They will not answer to you! Respond to our orders only, they do! Why, you, you backstabbing bozos! Those are slanderous words! Worse lies I have never heard! You needn't concern yourself with such things! Or an end to your friends' lives we shall bring! Damn it. Black mages were originally designed just to oppress. But a strong sense of self the Black Waltzers came to possess. Always obey us, these mages do, because a strong ego they have not. These mass-produced ones are to break once we're through with their lot. Other purpose than war, they have not. They have grown attached to life, yet soon they'll disappear. Hilarious! Nothing but toys they are here! I don't think you guys are any different. What?! Rubbish! You say that the Black Mages have no souls, but... These men are pawns. Just like them. Am I right or what? You won't be talking so big once we're done with you! Regret those words, you will! Let's just say, take it easy. Let's just take it easy until we arrive. Drive safe, alright? If any of you seen the new No Man's Sky trailer, you can ride crabs. Nope. Sounds good. Did you watch the Pokemon trailer? No. Forgot to. where Pokemon gets more hate than No Man's Sky.
Someone said I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, that's a bit hyperbolic. Depends on where you go. Depends on who you ask. Well, we've done this Pokemon conversation three nights in a row, and I'm actually vomitously sick of it, so... Today, can I catch frogs? Thoughts about Kefka? Um, one of the best. Silver Fork. Wait, no, I have that one already. I done catching. Do you remember when Kevin tried to cry like a baby to get Pam to lactate? Oh boy. Yes, I remember that. Thank you. He went, Wah! Vinny, why would you read that message? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I remember is what I'm trying to say. I remember that moment. I guess for the few people, the three people that haven't watched The Office, now you know there's a scene where a middle-aged man character cries like a baby to get another character to lactate. So... Man, Final Fantasy games sure like enemy things that are just houses. I love this enemy so much. Yeah, there's just a house in Final Fantasy VII in Midgar. Can- can eat or not eat? Screwed up. Taste bad. Apparently this enemy is actually four cats holding up a cannon house. Well, what happened... ...to those cats that turned them into such assholes, is my question. Why are they working for the devil? Speaking of, the devil. And I jumped out on that road. I got no love, no love you call real. Ain't got no ah! Yes, I am. Is 
Someone said, what is wrong with you tonight? Well... A lot. But this isn't that different than usual. If you think about it. Like, last night I was talking about aliens getting plowed. So am I tonight. Um, I talked about Crystal Foot Vodka. I mean... Yeah, this is pretty par for the course. This is just your average stream. Rat porn. Ultra porn. Now, this is pretty normal, actually, I'd say. Quinoa has died. So there's a vodka that's being made in Chernobyl that um, people are now telling me about. It's Chernobyl vodka, and they make it in the exclusion zone. And no, it's not harmfully radioactive. It's a little radioactive, but then they filter that out and it goes in the waste product. So they're saying it's totally safe and they can't detect any radiation. Um, but it's, yeah, it's just Chernobyl Vodka. Wow, I love these things. What's the point if there's no radiation? Um, it's the same kind of reason why people buy vodka that comes in a skull. It's only 3.6 Ronkin anyway. It's it's not good. Not that bad. Vinny, thoughts on Abbey Road? I mean, what more could be said about it? It's one of the best albums ever made. Crystal, I'm oh, sorry, get some Chernobyl vodka today. It's like drinking an ordinary chest x ray. It's the Abbey Road anniversary. Oh, that's why I was seeing tweets about it. I hate one song on that album, though. Which, by the way, lyrically is one of the darkest songs on the album. Um, the Holly Hobbs is a YouTuber that talks about it. The song I hate is Maxwell's Silver Hammer. Bang, bang, Maxwell's Silver Hammer fell down upon her head. Hate it. Uh, but I will tell you the lyrics are amazing. It's uh, a jaunty little song about mass murder from Paul McCartney. Paul wrote this song about downfalls in life. May, life may be going well for you, and then the proverbial Maxwell Silver Hammer comes down and makes you miserable. So, um, let me read some of these lyrics while I'm doing this. Joan was quizzical, studied meta uh, metaphysical science in the home. Uh, late nights, all alone with a test tube, Maxwell Edison, majoring in medicine, calls her on the phone. Can I take you out to the pictures, Joan? But just as she's ready to go, Maxwell's uh, knock comes at the door, and then Maxwell's silver hammer kills her.
Back in school again, Maxwell plays the fool again. Teacher gets annoyed, wishing to avoid an unpleasant scene. She tells Max to stay when the class has gone away. So he waits behind, writing 50 times, I must not be so. But when she turns her back on the boy, he creeps up from behind. Bang, bang, Maxwell's silver hammer comes down upon her head. He kills the teacher. So that's not the lyric, he kills the teacher, but that's, yeah, the song is about murder. It's a really fucking bizarrely dark song from Paul McCartney. But I hate the melody, and I think it's a very... Like, he was just trying really hard to be dark. Like, yeah, wrote, John wrote some really dark songs, or, you know... Oh, I could be dark too, you know? That's a bit weird. Just play the Newgrounds animation? Oh, I've not seen that. Bungalow Bill? That ah, Bungalow Bill's a lot better than that, for me. I don't know. I can't really explain why I dislike the song. I have no real rational reason. What's your least favorite Beatles song, period? M Mr. Moonlight's a cover. Um, Revolution number nine is not a song. I don't know what that is. I don't like it. W uh, Wild Honey Pie is pretty fucking awful. Vine Sauce, the Beatles are overrated. Vine Sauce, the Beatles were never that good. That's cool. I am the Beatles. How may I help you? Tell them. I am, hi. I tell, tell them, I mean me. The Beatles were overrated. I mean, I prefer manted insects. Anyway, welcome to Filler. Okay, I might- my party might wipe here, if I'm not careful. Eat the cactar? I guess I could. What do you get? Thousand Needles? It's good. Thousand Needles is good. Don't attack them when they're underground. Oh, right. Right, 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 right. Honey pie! If you eat the cactuar, you get high. They're full of peyote. You mean they are peyote.
The tent revives too? Okay. I should have bought more items, jeez. Technically still full of it. You're full of it. Someone a moment ago said, is because the best Beatles song. I love that song, but no, I, uh, I don't know if it's the best. I'm partial to Dear Prudence, Here Comes the Sun, Hide Your Love Away. Um, While My Guitar Gently Weeps, Mother Nature's Son. Those are some- those are my favorites. Rocky Raccoon. Yeah. Yeah, Blackbird's good too. There's a lot of- oh, Across the Universe is great, but not the Phil Spector version. Anyway, here's Oilvert. And once again, Moogles have already discovered this place. Mimosa. Ah. Uh, it's so unusual to have visitors here. Please deliver my mail for me, Koopo. I want you to deliver a letter to Muel. Oh yeah, some new stuff. uniform, you say. Judo chop, baby, yeah! <laughs> and there goes all my money. get it back eventually. I'm not really worried about it. I'll just sell a couple things just so I have. Here's an unpopular opinion. The Kinks were better than the Beatles. Which I don't think they were, but... A lot of people believe that, and it is, in fact, an opinion, which would make it an unpopular one, because a lot of people don't share the deep opinion. The Kinks. I'm sorry, this is all boomer shit. I wouldn't worry about it. Kinks were a bit edgier? Yeah, a little bit here and there, but, I mean, if you listen to the Village Green Preservation Society album, that's a pretty fucking... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Haughty Toddy English album about England and its English things. Vinny, I find the Beatles music okay, but I'm tired to hear people say that are even higher than Jeebus. Are, was that an even, even higher joke? Was was that a joke on Rem Lazar that you just made? But I mean, it's like that with anything. Look at um, K-pop. Look at the people that are really into that. Like Team Yell. 
I mean, anything that has, you know, a thing, that is a thing, will become worshipped. Bigger than Jesus. It just so happens that they were, you know, they, they changed music in some ways, and they were just fucking huge. I mean, arguably one of the biggest entertainment franchises of all time. If not the biggest entertainment franchise of all time. Well, no, no, I mean, well, not uh, outside of, well, never mind, no, not, definitely not that. Maybe music-wise, I thought about it for a moment. No. For sure not. Here on this stream, we only talk about super obscure bands like Nirvana and the Beatles. You know, bands that you might not hear about or know about. Or see shirts of at every Hot Topic. Did Zidaniel learn auto haste? Yes, he did. However, I just unequipped Queena. That's oh, okay, you can have auto haste. People are saying locomotion is good for an upcoming boss. So I got, uh, some of my, my peoples have locomotion. Zidaniel does not. Vinny, you getting the Abbey Road remix? Excuse me? Giles Martin's doing a remix? Abbey Road Remix. Oh, it was just announced today. I was hoping they would do something like that. Behind the Beatles Abbey Road 50th Anniversary Remix. So they did the White Album, and now they're doing Abbey Road. Great. I love what, what he did with the White Album. It's coming out... Um, September 27th. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Yes. Yes, he did a really good job with White Album and uh, Sgt. Pepper's. So yes, absolutely. I'm gonna get it on vinyl too. You know, I actually think I, I have to stop doing this now because I have I have a dream stream I promised you all How did two hours pass? I don't know well, they, they didn't yet. It's ten minutes away from two hours. Let's just do a little bit more. Let's do those ten minutes. This must be the entrance. Oomph. Open up. Problem is, we didn't really get a lot of story progress because Chocobos... ...and because Kuja wanted me to go... They parked their ship in the worst possible spot. No way I can open a door this big. Surely they could have found a way to park the airship right outside this place. I don't know what's going on, but I guess we gotta go inside. It's an honor to be here. <laughs> Wait, what? Leave the rising sun is another weapon that you throw, that Amaranth throws. Just want to check. Yep. Red. 
So yeah, no magic. It's a stone, Zidane. Yo, what the fuck? This is weird. I'm the real Aiko. Oh, yeah. Just what a doppelganger would say, huh? Vinny, go outside, buy five diamond swords after stealing the Holy Lance from the boss. Use time to kill boss quick. Throwing with Amarant. Every diamond sword that was thrown deals 3,000 to 45,000 damage. 45,000? Well, I don't have the money for that. Is this... a planet? Was that writing that just appeared? M Mother Terra? Ah, I can't make it out. You read it? You really something! It's not that I can read it. It's more like the words are talking to me. I don't even know why. Very interesting stuff. Could learn Stone Killer. Just need someone to remind me next time I stream this to put on that shield armor. What a strange looking ball. Nothing. Killer would come in very handy here. Oh no, 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 not you. Oh, the fire's broken again. Is BB yummy? Now I found out. I love when Queena looks at uh, Regent Sid in frog form. He's like, in the last stream, I think it happened, where he looks and he starts licking his chops. He's like, hmm, do I eat? Ah, it worked. Ancient ship. Oldest in history. Cousin's club. The ship for war. Shipbuilding technology primitive. Battleship Invincible Prototype. Prototype Failure. First battleship invincible improved version currently in use. Where?
What is the weirdest sound, old sounding instrument you own? I, I have a slide whistle. And... I mean the automaton, but that's that needs batteries. soft to live. Can you play the melodica? I have. In fact, one of my, um, albums on Bandcamp has a melodica on it. There's a video gamey sounding song I made for, like, a town, and, uh, I used the melodica. I, it took me a while to figure out, and I had to do some clever editing to get it to sound halfway decent. I am Steiner! Oh, that's insta-death. Cool. It's really not even worth fighting these guys. If you let the mirror spawn more than once, you get copious amounts of XP. Oh shit. Or Steiner didn't get any of that XP. Alright, well that's almost the 10 minutes up. So that is, um, an intro to Oil Verier. And as you can see... As you can see, it's, uh, it's very interesting. And there's some weird stuff about a ship and another planet and Zidaniel is, for some reason, able to read these things and not know why. So, clearly, there's some shit going on over here that isn't just... Retrieve the stone. But, yeah, next time I play this, we'll complete this part, we'll continue making story progress. There's some interesting stuff coming up soon that I'm looking forward to very much. So, thank you. Everybody, thank you very much. So we're going to take a quick break, and um, I'll be back with dreams, finally. Again with the failed mascots. Every time I try to switch to that scene, I need to make a copy of it and put it all the way at the bottom. I don't want to lose the logo that I made in XSplit. Just lazy, I guess. Alright, let's hope PSN's not down. And that way I can bring you... ...the good stuff. You know what I'm saying? The good stuff. Dreams. Stick around. Be right back.